Dear Jewel, I left you with a few things to always hold on to. Loyalty, elusiveness, and brute force. If you remember these lessons, you will survive. If anyone can, it's you. Love you always, Dad. Xbox One S, starting at $299. Dry season, schmai season. It's a new week, and that means it's time for new releases. And this week, we got some good releases. Woo! First up, your buddies at Double Fine have a Metroidvania-style game they want you to try. It's called Headlander. As you might come to expect from both Double Fine and publisher Adult Swim Games, this one's pretty weird. Headlander takes place in a futuristic setting inspired by 1970s science fiction television shows and movies, you know, like Logan's Run. Basically, everyone in the future ditches their bodies and uploads their consciousness into a robot. But an evil AI is controlling the robot, so people are just stuck in that robot and they can't control it. You play as the only human consciousness that can move, but you're just a head. Don't you worry, you're a powerful head, and you can put yourself on these different robots to help control them and save the day. I told you it was weird. You can get ahead on the 26th. Don't you guys remember seeing a really like weird puzzle game where you like hacked into computers to access doors and stuff? No, not that one. Yeah, that's the stuff. I'm talking about Quadrilateral Cowboy. It takes place in the high-tech past of the 80s when you had a top-notch PC with 56.6 kilobytes modem and 256 kilobytes of RAM. That's a powerful setup. You're a hacker working with top-notch agents to infiltrate buildings and steal documents. But unlike some hacking games, you're really using code to break down the cameras and security systems. Feel the thrill of being a programmer. You become anonymous on the 25th. Also this week, you're continuing your portal journey in search of home in Minecraft Story Mode Episode 7. But Jesse and crew land in a world entirely controlled by Pama, a sinister thinking machine determined to command everyone and everything in pursuit of optimal usefulness and efficiency. Forced on the run to avoid capture and assimilation, you'll have to work with a new ally to defeat the corrupted computer and free the population it's enslaved. There's no end in sight to this episodic adventure, and I wouldn't be surprised if they just kept making these and turned it into a regular series. The people love it, and you can grab episode 7 on the 26th. Hyperlight Drifter, that gorgeous 2D action platformer with music by the talented Disaster Piece, is coming to console this week. Which ones, you ask? Well, eventually, all of them. But this week, we're getting Xbox One and PS4. The game won over reviewer Kevin Van Ord, praising the game's visual storytelling and fluid fighting mechanics, all set to a whimsical world you can't wait to explore. If you miss this on PC, this is an excellent chance to play on console. Become the Drifter on the 26th. Finally, you might have noticed that I freaking love Stardew Valley. And if you ever wanted to play but you didn't have a PC, which was the only platform it was available on, you're in luck. Now it's on Mac and Linux. Let me paint you a picture of leaving your job, being out on a farm, starting anew, planting crops and finding secrets, and meeting the town people, and falling in love, and mining for goodies, and making your house. Oh, there's so much to do. This game is awesome and you're gonna love it. I think you should totally get it. I can't really speak any higher about it. If you guys liked Harvest Moon, you're gonna love this game. And that's it for this week. Remember that release dates are based on retailer listings, and sometimes they change. Next week, we'll be back. See you then.